Hi, I'm Adam from DunaDrama.com. Which, as you can see here, I've set up all of the keyframes along the for the mask. If I just select this layer, the mask, you can see the mask there. And it evolves through the movie. Now, the first thing you might notice is my face becomes very the 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 yellow spills across it and you can see my face and we don't want that to be highlighted we only want the jacket to be highlighted so what i'm going to do for that is i'm just going to move as the start is when it sort of becomes a problem i'm going to add another mask just by grabbing the pen tool and then drawing around my face Now this mask is going to be a slightly different kind of mask. One reason why I wanted to show you. Now, this hasn't seemed to have done anything. But if we go down to mask 2 down here, where it says add, we set that to subtract. And then anything within the mask isn't affected. So they've taken it away. I'm just going to open up the, um, the mask path for that mask and hit the stopwatch and then use literally same as before going through frame by frame just sort of moving the mask around a li little bit just to get it in the right place now you might want for this one oops, for this mask you may wish to set the mask feathering to about 10, 10 12 pixels or something because this is quite close to the actual what you do want and it's quite a um, defined area it just makes it look a little bit smoother and then when you've gone through frame by frame doing that you get step 3 as you can see here I've added all of the keyframes for both masks with cool effect. Now one last little tip that I would recommend just to now we've put all this effort putting the mask in to make it look cool is just to add another effect to this layer. Now it's going to go to the effects and color correction. I'm now going to add a hue saturation. You might want if your video isn't terribly good and you don't want to but it's not so bad that you necessarily need to put masking in you can drop the saturation down to get some cool results to just sort of to um stop up the highlighted color showing up on things like the carpet but as soon as we've gone to the trouble to put in all of this masking we're able to up the saturation which gives the jacket a very bright vivid color which means that when we go back and we see through the whole thing we have a very washed out background and a very bright vivid jacket there the other last thing that I might suggest um, to do is on the background layer is to add in this little curves graph here I've already done it here but I'll show you how to do that, you just go to effects color correction and curves and with this I just suggest sort of just move that the just clip them a little bit be careful with the docs because this is quite a dark video I don't want to make it too dark let's make the lights a bit lighter and it just gives it a better contrast in the video and you have a really cool video in this style of sensitivity. I've been Adam from DoDoNoDrama.com and I've just shown you how to make a cool sensitivity style video effect.